Hey family, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Carenza Amanza. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're enjoying your life. So I am, I'm probably more than super excited today. Um, I am going to be cash stuffing my September 2023 paycheck number three bi-weekly spending for my variable envelopes. You guys, it is a magic month as you can see from the title of the video. I'm so happy. If you are new and you're not aware, a magic month is basically when you get a third paycheck when you're paid bi-weekly. So this is going to be my second magic month for the year. So my second and final one for 2023. And I'm so grateful, so happy when I'm able to get three paychecks in one month. I look at it like it's an extra paycheck, an extra bonus. I feel like it's a great way to enhance my savings. So if you are following my channel, you already know I have not even posted my 2023 um, paycheck number two for September. I haven't done any of my September paycheck number two for 2023. I have really skipped over that because I was behind and I decided I would just use my debit card for that check and any additional funds I have left over, I'm going to put it towards um, some savings challenges. So if you follow me, you'll know what's coming up very soon after this video and it will all make sense, I promise you. So I'm going to cash stuff this paycheck. I'm going to be cashed up in a total of $450 and I cannot wait for you to see the additional content I have coming your way. So before I get started with counting this cash and cash stuffing my mo term, I want to share today's positive quote with you. So today's positive quote is... Always believe in yourself. I love this quote. I definitely feel like it applies to our community. I feel like we have to continue to believe in ourselves in order to prosper, in order to grow, in order to keep going in this journey. This journey is not for the weak. I say that all the time. I feel like we tend to be hard on ourselves because of hardships that come our way. However, you have to get back up. You have to get back on the path to financial freedom and make sure that you always believe in yourself throughout the process. So always believe in yourself. Keep that in mind every single day. So I'm going to start with counting this cash. I always like to make sure I have the proper funds. So I have 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 440, 445, 450. So I have $450. So all of the funds are here. How are all of you doing on your financial journeys? I know it is not easy. I know things happen, life happens. So just know that you are doing your best. So I know that I have a few dollars left in my mo term, not much, but a few, and I'm happy for I'm happy for every dollar saved to be honest with you guys. So I know I have five dollars in miscellaneous, so I'm gonna put that to the side. And any funds I have left over from my wallet, I usually put that towards my rollover savings challenges. So I have two fives, so that's $10. Yeah, I don't have anything else left. Okay, give. I keep those funds in there. Okay, I don't have anything else left. So I'm going to put these two fives in my rollover binder. So I'm participating in the $1 savings challenge, the $5 savings challenge, and then any other rollover funds that I have that are not a one that are not a five go directly in my last envelope, which is rollover. I'm not gonna count in today's video. I'm just gonna cash stuff. 
but if you're new i have the one dollar the five dollar and then my rollover envelope so any dollar that is not a one or five goes directly in this envelope here and i can't wait because i'm gonna count at the ends of the year and i cannot wait to see if i beat last year's total of 697 dollars so i am going to start with my health envelope Health could be anything that I need to get from the pharmacy, anything personal related. If I have to pay something like a copay, it just really depends. And health is a great envelope to have. I realized, you know, sometimes I would take these funds from miscellaneous and I said, why not just have its own envelope? So health is going to get $20. Next is going to be household. Household is going to get $25. Household could be cleaning products that I need, anything that I need for my apartment. So $25 is going to households. Next is going to be miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is going to get $30. That's going to be a 20 and a 10. Look at that. They wrote on the money. I don't like when they write on the money. I just don't think it's necessary. Like... So disrespectful to write on money, in my opinion. Next is gas. Gas is going to get $80. I really do need to get gas. I'm not quite at half because I usually fill it back up when I'm at half, but close to the halfway point. So I like to keep my tank full. Next is groceries. Groceries is also going to get $80. And it's a drastic change from my usual $120, $140. But that is what I'm going to budget for for the next two weeks. Don't know what I can get $80 with, but let, let, let's see. <laughs> so $20, $40, $60, $80 is going to groceries. Next is laundry. Laundry is going to get $20. And just real quick to rewind about groceries, sometimes I tend to give less to groceries if I feel like I'm going to eat out more. I feel like it just makes more sense as opposed to giving it money and then, you know, not utilizing it. So the $80 should hold me. I have enough meats. I have enough other things. It's just like vegetables and things that I have to get. Um, like my green peppers, my red peppers, my onions, my garlic my vegetables, like my broccoli, my baby spinach, my arugula, those types of things I have to get. I really don't have to get a lot of meat or anything. So that's why I have $80. And if I go to Trader Joe's, that helps me out a lot too. Or if I make sure I go to the market, the fresh market, that helps as well. So next is hair. Hair is going to get $50. So that's going to be this $50 here. And I do have to get a washing set. So Definitely going to be utilizing those funds. And then next is nails. Nails is going to get $100. I got my nails done a week ago as I'm filming this, but I do plan to get my nails done within a week. So these funds are going to be utilized. I already got my appointment set and I'm so happy because my nail lady, she be filling up quick. So I had to get in where I could fit in. It's so crazy. Next is give. Give is going to get $5. And I did give money to someone on the street. So I ended up moving the funds from my give envelope and my sinking funds. And I put it in my give envelope in my Motrum wallet. So I do have three fives in here. Yeah, I think it's three fives. Wait, five, 10, 15. Yeah, $15. So if I need to, I will give to someone in need. And it's just easier to have it right in my wallet as opposed to pulling it from my sinking funds and then putting it into my miscellaneous envelope. It's just easier just to have it right here. So next is fund. Last is fun. Fun is fun, whatever that means. And it's going to get the remaining funds of $40. So $40 to fun. I don't know what fun is right now because I've just been working. But whatever that looks like to you please let me know. So that is going to do it for today's cash stuffing. I really enjoyed this cash stuffing. I love telling my money where to go and what to do. And I love cash stuff in my wallet. I don't know. It's just something about my daily 
um, on my weekly or bi-weekly spending, I feel like once I have that cash available, it just makes my life so much easier that I've designated how much money I want to go to certain categories. So thank you all so much for tuning in. I really appreciate all of your support. If you haven't already, please, please, please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can know when I upload new videos. I would love to have you as a part of the fam. Take care, stay safe, and of course, continue to be blessed. Till next time. Later.